Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be playing with the new The Ball Meat Matte Smucker eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is a new palette and it came in the mail yesterday, so I wanted to straight start filming a look with this palette. But the first thing I always do is prime my eyelids and then I'm going in with this light matte shade. And I'm going to blend it all over in my crease. Um, this shade is almost the same color as my own skin color. So you will not really see it on my eyelid. But this will just help to make like create a soft base of eyeshadow. Which will make it more easier to blend out the other eyeshadows. Now I'm going in with this gorgeous warm brown shade. And I'm going to blend it all over in my crease. And the brush that I'm using is from the brand Makeup Addiction. I believe this is like a Instagram makeup brand. I am having this brush for such a long time and I'm also using it very often. It's just the perfect blending brush for the crease. It's not too big, not too small, it's just the perfect size. So I'm just going all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner until I'm satisfied with how much product is in my crease. Then I'm going to use this black eyeshadow and I'm going to create a line with this, which will be my cut crease line. eyes I can be and he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking when I'm done with creating that black line I'm going to use this dark brown shade and I'm going to use that to blend out the black line and to create a sort of transition which goes from dark to light towards my eyebrow and for this I'm using a Morphe M506 brush, which is a very tiny blending brush, which is perfect for this step. All the time, all the time. And my heart's been fast when it's looking like that, oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs, so I can't get enough. Think about it all the time, I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. Then it's time for some concealer and I'll be using my favorite all-time concealer which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using it in the lightest shade which is the NC15 and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid and I'm creating a very sharp line straight underneath my crease which will be like the perfect base for all the other eyeshadows that I will apply later on. You know I want him now, 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 now I'm out of saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want, if you want Now the first product I'm starting with is this The Balm Bunny Luminizer Highlighter. I really wanted to use a very light shimmery shade and in the palette there wasn't like a very light shade so I'm going to use this one. I'm applying this at the beginning part of my eyelid and also in my inner corner area to create a sort of highlighting effect but at the end I will apply a little bit more because a lot of that will be faded away because I'm applying concealer underneath the eyes. So now I'm going to use this bronzy shade, which is so pretty, and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. Now I'm going in with this reddish pinky shade, and I'm going to apply a line of this product above my lash line and I see my camera skipped apart. I also used a little bit of the black eyeshadow and I blended that in my outer V trying to connect it with my crease. So that's the darkness you can see in my outer V area. So now I'm going to use this black magic eyeliner from Ico which is a very nice liquid eyeliner. It has like a super precise tip which you, is so easy to use and with a lot of these eyeliner pencils I noticed that when I use it on top of a shimmery shade the tip dries out but with this one it doesn't happen so I guess that's why this product is so popular it's really nice 
So when I'm done with creating the line, I'm going to use some glitter and I'm applying this with the MAC Mixing Medium. And the glitter that I'll be playing with is from RxI and it's in the shade Grape. So I apply some of the Mixing Medium from MAC on my brush. Then I dab it on my eyelid where, wherever I want the product to be. And then I'm going in with the glitter and I apply it on top of it, which makes it stick to the eyelid. So because I'm using the MAC Mixing Medium together with glitter, it will create a sort of foiled effect, which I think looks super cool and graphic. Then I'm going in with the Eye of Horus Black Eye Pencil. I applied this off camera in my waterline. I think we all know how to do this. And then I'm going in with the Black Eye Shadow and I'm going to apply this right underneath the lower lash line using a dose of colors pencil brush. So I'm softly pressing and blending back and forth with my brush to create a very dark smoky effect. Then to blend it out, I'm going in with the pretty reddish shimmery shade and I'm going to blend it also underneath my lower lash line, but a little bit lower and kind of trying to blend it into the black. And for this, I'm using the Morphe M506 brush again, same as I used for in my crease. Then I'm going in with a little bit of that green. I just wanted to use like as many eyeshadow shades from this palette as possible. Um, so I was like, why not apply a little bit of this? So I'm applying it in the inner corner area underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going back in with the De Balm Bonnie Luminizer, which I used at the beginning on my eyelids. But because I used foundation, concealer, it kind of faded away. So I'm applying a little bit more of that to really make my inner corner like have that really nice highlighting effect. And this highlighter is also really pretty. I would really recommend it if you're searching for a champagne gold highlighter. Now for my mascara, I used the De Balm Scuba Mascara and I applied my lashes off camera. I will put the name in the description bar from the lashes that I used. And if you're wondering what lipstick I was wearing with this, I used the Colourpop, I love Sai Colourpop Collaboration Liquid Lipstick. This is like a very dark, intense burgundy shade. And yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoy watching this video. It was my first video from 2018. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. That will be really sweet and helpful for my channel. And if you have any suggestions for my upcoming videos, let me know in the comments. Just let me know what you want to see this year. If you want to see more smoky eyes, cut creases or natural looks, let me know. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!